February 26, 2019, Jackie's Restaurant in downtown Los Angeles. Four and a half star review on Yelp. Alyssa H. from the Netherlands says they have amazing tacos. The notorious P. Dookie Salmon has wandered in a... <laughs> the notorious P. Dookie Salmon has wandered in a Jackie's Restaurant, and according to one customer, he stinks. One of the guys stinks really bad. I don't know how any of this started, but it sounds like a woman called him stinky. So P. Dookie pulls out a knife and says he's gonna slice her throat. He pulled a knife about this bit, and he says, shut up or I'm going to slice your throat. LAPD responded. <laughs> I'm gonna get so copyright struck for that one. So LAPD starts getting the meanie greenie out. For those of you who are new to this whole law enforcement thing, police videos, my channel, when shotties are green like that, they shoot ouchie bullets that hurt really bad but don't kill you. 40 Mike Mikes shoot bigger ouchie bullets and also gas. All right, man, we just want to talk. Hey, man, we're either going to have to pull you out or you're going to have to come out here. Yeah, I got a gun right here. You got a gun? Don't be pulling it out. So we were at talking nicely. Hey, P. Dookie, come out here and talk to us, buddy. But that was too much for old P. Dookie. He decided to take the worst route possible and tell police that he has a piece on him. Life pro tip here, people, hear me out. If there is a crazy, belligerent, homeless man with an arm's reach of you with a knife and you can see police in front of you starting to load shotguns, you should probably not be there. You should probably stop eating your tacos and walk away. Now you should definitely move out of the way if the belligerent homeless man says something like, Look, I got a gun right here. You got a gun? But don't be pulling it out. But he lied to us. Hey, he looks inside. He's got a knife. Hey, you drop that knife. You don't drop that knife. We might have to use less lethal force. It's gonna seriously hurt. And he also equipped a chair shield. Let me point out again that Albert Einstein is still sitting right there eating his taco. I mean, I'm, I'm glad that we have this footage from inside of Jackie's restaurant, but damn, be a little smarter, gents. Shot number one was actually a great shot. The officer is trying to get the knife out of his hand and he drills him directly in the hand. Too bad for everyone involved, P. Dookie has that crazy old man hobo strength from years of fighting the police. Prior to this, he's actually been convicted 11 times for drunken public and disorderly conduct. After P. Dookie brushes the first shot off, the officer fires another, and it looks like he completely misses. Let's get serial for a minute and talk about tactics here. You can tell that they've trained specifically for scenarios like this. You have a non-lethal shoddy, 40 Mike Mike, an officer with a taser, and an officer with lethal cover, just in case P. Dookie gets squirrely. I am still a bit nervous those guys are within arm's reach of him, though. What if he decides to take a hostage or get pokey with those guys right there? These officers seem confident in controlling the situation, though, so let's continue. Yeah, you know, guy called Dumber, but it's, yeah, we have a successful block from P. Dookie. The hurdy ouchy round is deflected and nearly hits the two geniuses who are still sitting there. The blocked 40 Mike Mike round is quickly followed up though with a shoddy ouchy round that looks like it hits P. Dookie right in the knuckles. He still doesn't drop the knife though. Shotgun guy racks another round in and shoots that fucking knife right out of his hand. You know I'm surgical with this bitch, Jake. P. Dookie's reign of terror is over. I mean, until he bails out a couple hours later and he does the same shit next week. Everyone, thank you so much for watching this video. If you want to help support the channel, you can do so at patreon.com. Donutoperator.com, get some super sweet merch. Or come check me out at twitch.tv slash donutoperator as soon as this video is released. That is all I have for you fine people tonight. Until next time, have a fantastic day. Cody wants me to tell you um, a story of when I was growing up. So, um, I grew up in a mill village, and the side of the mill village where I grew up, sorry, Cody's got me laughing, the side of the mill village where I grew up was the trash dump for the whole village. <laughs>
<laughs> where I lived, and it was a dirt road, and it was just a big mountain <laughs> of garbage. And there was this old homeless man who lived down at the trash dump. There was about three of my cousins and some kids in the neighborhood, and we liked to go down to the trash dump and talk to this old man at the trash dump. And his last name was Salmon. And so uh, we, gave, <laughs> we gave him a name, so we made up the name of P. Dookie. So we like to go visit P. Dookie <laughs> down at the trash <laughs> Down at the trash dump. You call this man P. Dookie Salmon? <laughs> P. Dookie Salmon, you can ask <laughs> about the homeless man at the trash dump. They 